Welcome back to another Ducati maintenance video and today we are going to be replacing both front and rear brake pads on my Ducati Scrambler. Now the process on the Ducati Scrambler is pretty simple. We don't even need to remove the calipers from the bike because the pads just slide right out. I will be explaining the tools needed and the procedure as we go along in the video and without wasting any more time let's start replacing them. So to remove the pads, we are going to remove this split pin here first, then we are going to remove this retaining pin here, which is undone by a T30 Torx screw, which is undone from here, and then we are removing this head retaining clip, which is found between the two calipers. Then we are going to force the brake pads apart to push the pistons back inside of the original spots pin this out and retaining pin also out now the pads slide right out but before we do that, we're going to need to push the pistons back in. So we're going to try to force the brake pads apart and push the pistons inside. So I'm going to try to use a large screwdriver to do that. And by just pushing on the pads themselves, the pistons should start going inside so pistons started to go in so let's keep on pushing the pads apart so now our pistons are far back inside in the original position now all we need to do is slide the old pads out just like so pretty easy Now let's give it a good clean again with some brake cleaner. So the pads that I just removed, I'm noticing that they're still Brembo's. So I'm guessing these are the original pads that came with the bike. So after 25,000 kilometers, they were still in service. They still have some grooves left. so. They actually had a little bit of life left, but we're gonna replace them anyways with our new Farodos. So let's see the difference in friction material. So before I put in the new brake pads, I'm just gonna put a little bit of copper grease on the back sides here of the pad where the piston hits the pad, so they won't stick together. So just a little bit like this, no need to go overboard. And that's all. So once we do this, we put the pad back inside the caliper. Same for the other pad. slide it right in and now we just do everything back in reverse order so first the retaining clip slide it in between the pads make sure this groove in the middle sits between both pads and in line with the holes for the retaining pin so before putting in the retaining pin, give it a good clean. We also put some copper grease on that. So the pads can slide easily on it. 
So put the pin inside the caliper from this side. Make sure it is lined with the pads and the retaining clip. Like so, and just go ahead and tighten it with your torque screw. Now that everything is done, just one step left, we're gonna put the split pin back on the retaining pin. That's it, the front brake pad is done. Now all we need to do is pump a bit the brake lever so the pistons will sit in their correct position. So before pumping the lever, you can see the piston is not actually touching the pad yet. There's no pressure. So let's pump the lever a little bit. You can see the first few pumps will be very soft. The tilt will touch the handlebar. Keep pumping. And now we start having pressure. That means the pistons are touching the pads and the pressure is back to normal. So now let's see the pistons. Now I can see that they're fully touching the pads. So now the front brakes are completely done. Now we can move on to the rear ones. Now moving on to the rear caliper. It's pretty similar but just a little bit different when removing the pin. So first of all, we need to remove the safety pin here. So let's remove that now. I'm gonna use a long nose player. Now this pin needs to be punched out. So I'm gonna grab a small screwdriver, which fits through this hole. And then I'm gonna hammer it and then the spin will shoot right out the other side. So it has no screws or torques or anything. It's just need to be hammered out. And just like that, the pin is now out. So the safety pin was in this little hole right here. So take note of it when we reassemble everything. So basically this will go just right on it like this. Now make sure you clean this and give it a little bit of copper grease like I did on the front. Now as for the pads, we're gonna do the same as we did on the front. We're gonna push against each other so that we push the piston back inside. So the rear one is slightly easier because there's only one piston to push. So it goes in much easier. Just like so. So the piston is now inside. And the pads slide just right out. Now we're gonna give it a good clean with some brake cleaner. So again on the new pads I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a bit of copper grease here. So let's put the inside Pad first. So let me zoom in a bit. So to explain a bit what I did is I inserted the inner brake pad first and then I inserted, I started to insert the pin so it can hold the pad in place because if you don't do so, 
the pad will just fall right off. So now I'm gonna put the next pad on the outer side near the piston and gonna push the pin again to hold the outer pad. So just like that. So this is how far the pin will go. It won't go fully inside because we need to hammer it back in. So I'm gonna grab a broken screwdriver, which is flat on top. Just gonna place it on the pin here. Uh, so you can look right here. I'm just gonna place it there on the pin and I'm gonna hammer it back in place. So now the pin is fully in place and secured. Make sure to find your safety pin again. And remember the hole that I showed you earlier. We're gonna clip it just like so. So the pin is now in place here and the pin is secure so it won't go out. And that's it. So let's do again like we did on the front brake. And let's pump a bit the foot brake so the piston settles in. So while I'm pressing the rear brake, the piston should go into place now. And there is a slight drag on the wheel, which means the pads are now in place. So now with both brake pads replaced, uh, front and rear, I went for a short drive just to, you know, break them in, remove all the rust I had on the rotors, and they work perfectly fine. Now obviously don't go all in in your braking when you just, you know, replace them. So the first 100 kilometers, just take it a bit slowly until the pads break in. But as you saw from the video, it's a pretty simple process to replace the pads. No fancy tools are needed and it's a pretty straightforward job. And I think both pads can be done in less than 30 minutes, front and rear. And that is all for this video. If you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.